Welcome back to the AMS Performance YouTube channel. Today is going to be a really cool episode. We have a Q50 and a Q60 build. Both are going to be RA500 packages. One of them is getting our entire carbon fiber edge address kit. On the red Q50, we started filming a little bit late, so we didn't capture everything. But the blue Q60, we covered it all. Next week's video, we are heading to Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas. There with Jackie Ding and the entire PhD racing team. We actually got to do two laps to go shoot some photos and videos, so we got a bunch of awesome B-roll for you guys. I think that does it. Let's get into the video, get these RA500 packages put together, strapped down on the dyno, and let's make some power. We do cat pack installs and things, and we have a good time. Hi. Hi. What is Hi. this? Hi. <laughs> Hi. 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 This customer came in, and they bought an MBRP cat pack. And this is a good example here of the stock system. Extremely tiny. Going from that little guy to a three inch exhaust. Red Q is actually getting a full carbon trim kit in the engine bay. So I think this would be a really cool time to kind of look at it a little bit more up close and personal. But this matte carbon finish is beautiful on these things. Peter is getting the low side fuel pump out right now. It is the same for Q50s and Q60s. It is underneath the rear passenger seat on both cars. He's gonna put it on the bench, get the pump in. Jake is currently in there on the dyno with this RA500 Q50S Red Sport. We have Will here. How's it going, man? Hello. So give us a quick rundown. This is uh, one of our customers brought his car in and he actually just wanted to throw the entire AMS catalog on it. So this is RA500. So this is everything including our air intakes, our flex fuel kit, or our fuel filter, high pressure fuel pump, low pressure fuel pump, heat exchanger. And of course, this also includes calibration for flex fuel. So this can run on anything from pump gas to E85. Don't have to map switch. Don't have to worry about counting out gallons or anything like that. Just pump and go. We'll get in there and we'll get some clips and that's gonna come right now. <laughs>
do on 93? About 420. About what they do? 425, 428. Okay. So these red sports stock. Average is 400. They make about 360 to the, to the wheels. Base model, like premium or pure, like non red sport, basically, will do 300 wheels. All right. So this was the 93 run right here. Yep. 424 horse, 511 torque. Ooh. Not bad. So as you guys see, they pumped out the 93 and 85 is now in the car. So we're gonna get to some spicy runs. Yep, yeah, it's some good gains. Yeah. Why, why are you getting this like portrait of me? Beautiful. <laughs> really? That's not beautiful at all. <laughs> like the tuners have wrapped up this Q50S Red Sport here. Seems that we made 490 horsepower and 524 pound feet of torque. We are going to get this car washed. We're gonna get everything prepped and ready for the owner. So we still have that blue Q60 that is getting worked on currently. So today's just Q day, I guess. Let's go ahead into the shop. We'll see where Tyler's at with the build. Where you been this morning, man? It's all done. It's all done? You did everything on no, that list? Not yet. <laughs> did the cooling system for the most part. Uh, he's got our new auxiliary intercooler pump. Uh, he actually already had our red alpha heat exchanger. He had that done previously, so we got him set up with our new pump. Auxiliary tank. Oh, yes. So we got the tank sitting right flush in there. Yep. And you routed up your lines. Yeah, route everything up to our new uh, our new pumps up front, and that should pretty uh, pretty much complete the cooling package on this car. Nice. What else are you getting? Low pressure pump, our high pressure pump. I believe that was it. Yeah. I'll let you get back to work, man. Sounds good. Today, man, doing great. Nice. And yourself? That tank is looking good. Settled in there. Oh yeah. Yep. Ready for some coolant. What we got going on today? We're gonna finish up the fuel system. That's right. High pressure. And replace our high pressure pump here. All right. I just mounted our flex fuel sensor here. Nice. So we'll get the lines ran to that. Ran to the new pump. Get our wires ran a all nice and neat back here. Good to go. And then yeah, yeah, low pressure pump's done. So just uh, some stuff in here, and then this thing's ready for the dyno.
right guys that is going to do it for the red q50 and the blue q60 so some pretty cool results here 510 horsepower and i believe 539 torque it was if you guys have a q50 q60 you're looking for any parts anything performance related make sure to check out our website we'll have a link in the description for all of our q products i guess that does it for today hope you guys enjoyed that one and we'll see you next week at circuit of the americas in texas let's go do some racing with jackie ding